Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you some stuff that I got at Walmart and a few gifts because my birthday is like in about a week, a little over a week. So I got a birthday gift or two in the mail. So I wanted to show you all what I got. So if you're interested in seeing, then just keep watching. So first I'm going to start with the birthday gifts. So my mother-in-law sent me a few things. She went to Hawaii and so she sent me a few things through there, but I think I showed the, she sent me some earrings, so I showed those in like my last video, I believe. And then she also sent me these bath bits or bath bombs. Um, and these are by Bath Bits Australia. And these are the lemon cupcake box. And are these not the cutest? I think she got these at Marshalls. And it says they were like $8. So that's like not very expensive at all for six bath bombs. So I'm. I can smell them through the box. They smell so good and I've been dying to do this haul so I can use them. So yeah, so I got these bath bombs and I'm going to be using one of these tonight. And yeah, thank you so much, Penny. And yeah, I appreciate it. You know I love you. So sent me this really, really awesome jewelry box. It's like cushioned and this is going to be perfect for traveling like it's just a little jewelry box it had a watch in it as well i already took that out but um this is by tuscan designs and it's just a purple jewelry box and this is my favorite shade of purple it's like deep royal purple and it's just like leathery and it's cushioned so i can put my jewelry in here when i travel and not worry about it getting messed up and it'll be nice and just and it has a little mirror super cute really really love getting things like this that are actually practical and useful so yeah thank you so much again and then my brother-in-law's girlfriend which i'm sure she'll be my sister-in-law in the future she went to visit her sister and her sister gave her some Lush bath bombs. And when she got back, she gave me one. And I've never been to Lush. Okay, I know. I'm like so behind. But there's not a mall close to us. And there's not a Lush store close to me where I live now. So I haven't been. And oh my gosh. This smells so good. Um, so yeah, this is... I will link it below, but it's LushUSA.com, and this just says Lush Fresh Handmade Cosmetics, so Fighting Animal Testing, oh my gosh, it smells so good, I don't know what, like, scent this is or anything, or if it has, like, a name, but this is just a huge blue and white bath bomb and it has some other little bits in it I'm not sure exactly looks like some kind of like herb or something so there is that it's a little bit crumbly up here but that's okay so yeah I'm super excited about all these bath bombs I will say I'm a little nervous though because scents um perfumes and things like that kind of tend to give me a headache so I'm really excited about them and they do smell great. I just hope they don't like give me a headache, but I will probably let you know after I use them. If they did or not, if I remember. So hopefully not, but either way, I really appreciate them and I'm excited to try them and hopefully they won't. So, yeah. A little dusty. Okay. So the next things I got were from Kroger and Walmart. So let me go ahead and get that. this at Kroger. I think this is the only thing I got at Kroger. No, I got two things at Kroger, I think. Okay, yeah, so I got this Baby Gannix All-Purpose Surface Wipes. These are fragrance-free, plant-based, cleaning power, 
durable and non-abrasive, quick and convenient, safe on multiple surfaces, no ammonia, bleach, phosphates, phthalates, or sulfates, and then there's 70. Okay, and then the next thing I found, this was in the clearance section at Kroger for $4.20. It smells really good. I've already used it and I really like it. And this is the Matrix Total Results High Amplify Wonder Boost Root Lifter. So there's what it looks like. And you just, um, you take this little piece off and you spray it wherever you're wanting your roots to be lifted. I did not use it today. I just used like a scrunch spray today. But um, I really like this because my hair is like stick straight. It has a tiny bit of wave in it. Just a tiny bit when it's like humid outside. Like straight and like flat to my head and it just looks me. So I decided to try a root lifter and I, like I said I have issue with like perfumes and hairsprays so I try to just not really get a whole a lot of hair products. I use what I get in my Ipsy but other than that I don't buy a whole lot. I have like my hairspray that I know works for me and then I have like organic shampoos and conditioners or all natural stuff. A lot of hair products other than hairspray scrunch spray and then my shampoo and conditioner that I know is not going to give me a headache so I don't really try a whole lot of hair products but I want to start trying and finding the stuff that works for me and doesn't give me a headache so so far so good with this one and it smells really good and it does not give me a headache so that is really great news so far I think I've used it twice so it's pretty good results so far so hopefully this will continue to work for me I really did like the way it smells and it did lift my roots you know and it would probably even do more if I went in and teased before using it or after and yeah so I liked it the next things are from Walmart so let's get into this little bag okay, the first thing I'm pulling out is this kitchen towel it's super cute and like summery fun colors and it was one dollar yeah, one dollar. Got me and the hubby some new toothbrushes, and these were also like 96 cents for a two pack, so you're like paying like 50 cents for each toothbrush. So, pretty good deal there. And it was in like the travel area of the hygiene aisle or whatever. <laughs> Is this are these Salon Perfect Go Glam Multi Pack lashes, and these are the number 614. And I paid like $8.88 for these, I think, or like almost $9, which is not bad for five pairs of lashes. These are a little more dramatic than I normally get, but I wanted to step out of my comfort zone and get something a little different. I usually stick with like my Kiss Lash number 11s. I know you probably heard me talk about those a lot. Those are my favorite. I've tried several lashes, and I just kind of like to stick with what I know works. But then again, it gets kind of boring, and I wanted to try something different, so I picked these up, and I guess we'll be seeing how they look. But yeah, they're just a little more long and a little more dramatic than the others that I usually use, but that's okay. That's alright. I love the drama. The thing I'm pulling out is this L'Oreal Brow, Brow Stylist Definer in the shade 388 Blonde. No, I'm not blonde. But I am trying to find different brow products. I mostly use like Anastasia Brow Wizzes or Brow Definers. The Benefit Brow Definer. Um, like the Dip Brow Pomades. I just tried a Coquille one. A Coquille Pomade. I've tried lots of brow products. And I honestly really haven't found the one that I absolutely love. I've tried like the It Cosmetic one. Which I really like that one in taupe. But um, this one is only like $8, so that's a lot cheaper than the Anastasia ones or the Benefit or It Cosmetics. And I've heard that these work just as well. So I wanted to try this out. I'm still working on my brows. They're not as bad as they used to be, but they're still just not where I want them to be just yet. So I'm going to continue working on them and try to find like the perfect brow product for my brows because I just have difficult brows I mean I don't hate them but I just don't love them yet either so 
I have my good days and bad days like anyone. But yeah, I just wanted to try something different. And this is a little lighter shade than I normally use. I do use taupe sometimes, but I haven't used a blonde shade. So I wanted to try that and see if it looks a little better and makes my eyebrows not look so thick and heavy. Like some have suggested they might be which I understand but I do have wide big brows so it's kind of hard for them not to look heavy because they are you know so anyway so there's that and I'll be trying that on camera the next thing I'm pulling out is this wet and wild gel lip liner it is the perfect pout and this is the shade Never Petal Down, and it is just like a rosy pink shade. Let me swatch it. I guess I could have swatched the eyebrow definer as well. I'll, I'll do that after this one. Hold on. Okay, so here's what it looks like out of the box. Super cute. This is cruelty free. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Ooh, this is super creamy. That's a great swatch. Okay, yeah, I really, I really like it so far. Let's see. It does kind of smear a little. I mean, it's, it's not perfect, you guys, but it's $3, so yeah. There's that one. Okay, and now let's swatch this brow stylist definer. It does have like a little spoolie on the end. This really does look like the Anastasia Brow Wiz or the, you know, the It Cosmetics one. I think Stila has one as well that's like this. Just a really uh, fine tip, you know, eyebrow pencil. So yeah, here's the little spoolie. And then here, okay. So there's one thing I don't really love so far. The tip is not like rounded. It's kind of like flat. Can you see that? But maybe I can just like shape it into this. <laughs> shape I need. Ah! Okay, I just broke a good bit of that off. Oh no. Oh, that really stinks. I broke like a centimeter off. Okay. Oh well. Alright, this is not swatching very easily on my hand. I don't know if I got one that's just like dried out or if I just got to like really get in there. But I'm scared I'm going to break it off if I put any more pressure. I don't know. Okay, well there's the swatch. It doesn't swatch great. But maybe it'll help me have like lighter brows since it's so hard to get on. It'll be like a very natural look, which is what I'm kind of looking for at the moment. So maybe it'll work out. If not, it was, you know, $7. So yeah, so there's that. Next thing I'm pulling out is this flower, flower blush. And this was, this is regular $8.98 and I got it on clearance for $3.50. And this is the shade... This is a cream blush, and this is the shade, where is it at? <laughs> there it is, Primrose and Proper. So let me open it and swatch this as well. This is what it looks like, and then I just love their packaging. It's got like the rose gold and white. It's just really fancy, pretty packaging. Okay, and it does look like it might have been opened or touched or something right there but I can spray it with some alcohol and it'll be good to go oh it is a cream blush I only own like two cream blushes I don't they're not my favorite in the world but I will use it I didn't realize that this was a cream blush it looked like a really like it looked powdery but it was kind of covered by the little sticker but we will we will give it a shot and see how it goes So yeah, so there's that cream blush, and it does come with like a little sponge applicator as well. So yeah, there's something a little different, and I think, yeah, it's a magnetic closure, so that's pretty cool packaging. I like that. 
And the last makeup product is another Flower Beauty product. And this is the Miracle Matte Translucent Finishing Powder. And this has been sold out in my Walmart. Like, almost every time I go, they have, like, the other ones that are, like, tinted. And I've been wanting the translucent one. So, they finally had it when I went this time. So, I was super excited to actually be able to get the one I've been wanting. And I've heard good things about this one. So, I'm excited to try it. This one was only, like, $10. So, it's really not bad at all. Okay. Super pretty. I just love the packaging. Look at that. Oh, so pretty. Okay, yeah. Miracle Matte Translucent Finishing Powder. It does feel like some of the powder has come out in the box. Like, I can feel it. Like, feels kind of weird. Which, honestly, I wasn't thrilled that it's like a matte finishing powder, but most powders are going to make you look more matte once you put it on. So, um, but I still wanted to try it. Um, for one, the packaging's gorgeous. Two, I've heard good things. And the price is right. I mean, I love my Laura Mercier, but I'm not trying to spend 40 bucks every time. Oof. Okay, this is very finely milled. You see that dust cloud coming up? And it looks like a lot has been spilled in here, which really stinks because... And I don't understand because it has the little sticker still in it. So that means someone's like open this. Ugh. And lots has gotten dumped out. So that really stinks. But I will still try it. This it feels really soft. Like it feels like it's gonna make my face really soft. Since there's already so much like on here, I'm just gonna like dot some on my chin. Yeah, I don't know how how well this is going to work out. I will still use it. Maybe once I get it cleaned up, it won't be so dusty and like everywhere. So let's brush that off and see how it looks. Oh my gosh, it really makes my face feel so freaking soft. Oh my gosh, that feels so good. Like, that feels like a luxury high-end product right there. Like, I don't even know how to... I've never had a powder make my face feel like that. Oh my gosh, it feels so good. Yeah. Yeah. Once I get it cleaned up and it's not like blowing everywhere and clouding and dusting up the place, I think I will really like this powder. I think this is going to be a hit right here. Alright, and I've got one more thing. It's not makeup, but it's something still pretty, pretty cool. It's for like $17. It is a play day pool lounger. It's summertime. Our pool is clean and ready to go. It's just a little above ground in the backyard. And then my sister-in-law lives in an apartment nearby and they have a nice pool and like fitness center and a sauna. They've got the hookup. So we're going to be spending a lot of time there this summer. So, and you can bring your own float. So I saw this and I had to have it. Like, is this not the coolest? I've never seen one with like angel wings. I thought it was so cool. So it's so me. And it's purple. Like, yeah. So yeah, I had to have that, and since it's over 5 foot long, it is 14 plus. Includes repair patches. So yeah, I thought this was pretty cool, and I thought I'd share it with you guys, because uh, the other day was the last day of school, summer started here, and yeah, we're going to be going to the beach pretty soon, right after my sister's graduation, so yes. So anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. I hope you enjoyed this, and if you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe down below and thanks again i love you all so much and jesus loves you too bye